Tonight's broadcast, available in high definition on ESPN HD, the 227th consecutive sellout settling in here in the northwest side of downtown Dallas at the American Airlines Center for the Sons of the Mavericks. And let's check tonight's starting lineups. Beginning with the visitors from the Desert of the Sun, Amari Stoudemire has been terrific of late with Boris Diaw and Sean Marion, the all-star up front, the backcourt of Raja Bell and the two-time reigning MVP, Steve Nash. For the Mavericks, they'll go up front with Eric Dampier, Josh Howard, and Dirk Nowitzki, ninth in the league in scoring. Jason Terry and Devin Harris getting the start in the backcourt tonight. For more on the importance and the meaning of tonight's game, to our sideline reporter, Lisa Salters. Well, my players for both teams are quick to downplay the significance of tonight's game, but they all have something to say about it. The Suns' Raja Bell said, we've seen this game on our schedule for a long time, and it will be a measuring stick for us to see where we stack up against the team with the best record in the league. And he said the Mavericks have been playing well, but they, then again, so have we. The Mavericks' Eric Dampier said, this is just another game for us. They may have something to prove, but we do not, because we know we can play with anybody in the league regardless of what happens tonight. But perhaps Mavericks owner Mark Cuban summed it up best and said what players are sometimes reluctant to say. He said in the big picture, this game means absolutely nothing. But he said as far as being a statement game, it absolutely is. Cuban said the team that wins tonight will have that confidence, that swagger, that edge heading into the playoffs where these two teams may match up again. And Lisa, it's interesting to see teams playing at this level, 52 and 10 Dallas, 49 and 14 Phoenix this late in the season. I alluded to it at the very top of the show. You have to go back to the great Lakers team in 72, taking on the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Milwaukee Bucks the last time that after 60 games of the season, two teams have a winning percentage as high as the teams that are taking the floor here in downtown Dallas tonight. For the Dallas Mavericks, this is a must-win game. If you're really good and you're going to win the championship, you have to win these games at home. Pressure on Dirk Nowitzki to deliver big time. Dallas in green, Phoenix in white. And John, we showed the starting lineups. Devin Harris starts. Craig Bunker's been starting of late for the Mavs, but Harris has seen plenty of starting action. Played excellent. We're going to see who he matches up with. We talked to Avery Johnson, said he loves his defense, and he'll be playing Steve Nash. Mavericks with the ball, and Josh Howard, the all-star, gets this one going with a hoop. Again, the Mavericks had won 17 consecutive games before their loss Monday at Golden State to their own coach, Don Nelson, who's beaten them a couple of times this year. There was just an atrocious performance by the Mavericks, and a beautiful interior pass. John Marion, who seems like he's in the top 25 in every category that the NBA tracks, without running a lot of plays for him, he just produces. You see the Mavs have produced so well here at home, 23 in a row, their overall record, a league best 30 and 3. Well, you see the importance of Boris Diaw. He had the assist on that play as Josh Howard fires it up. This guy is a tremendous playmaker, and they've missed him. He's been hurt and not really in great shape throughout this season. Diaw missed nine games with back spasms, has returned from the last couple. Here goes Nash being watched by Nowitzki. How many times did we see that in the great playoff series last year? Diaw on the take, puts Phoenix on top by a bucket. We saw that a lot of Boris Diaw in the playoffs against Dallas last year, averaging around 24 points a game in that series. He was sensational. Boris Diaw, whose back spasms kept him out for couple of weeks there still feeling a little bit of a twinge back there but hopefully he'll be able to get it going physically as we move towards the playoffs in the spring Boris Diaw a strong right hand driver not a guy that thinks offense always one that gets his team involved but when this guy scores the Phoenix Suns are absolutely dangerous foul was on Amari Stoudemire it's his first it was called by Steve Jack, who works the game with Michael Smith and Phil Robinson, and Devin Harris will have one more free throw. John, I'm going to respectfully disagree on D.L. not thinking offense. He doesn't think his own shot. He's the guy like Steve Nash, who is the facilitator, who makes it all happen for everybody else. And when he's out there to make that extra swing pass, then the, the finishers, Marion, Stoudemire, Roger Bell, James Jones, then they just have a field goal. Well, if he can get 24 in a six-game set, I'm going to tell him to shoot the ball. He referenced back to that Western Conference Finals won by Dallas in six. A bump is called on Devin Harris as 
uh, is trying to guard the larger man inside. Now, uh, one injury note for Avery Johnson's team. Devin George, of course, you remember him from the Lakers. The three championship rings won there. George not available, had a knee injury, missed a good part of February, came back and played a couple of games, but didn't have the lateral quickness and could be out for a few games. They want to get him healthy for the playoffs. And that's a big loss. He was playing that big guard. Something's happening defensively for Dallas. They Something just happened at the rim with Stoudemire stealing it and dunking it. <laughs> well, Amari is unbelievable, and the numbers that he's been putting up of late is incredible, but they keep, Dallas keeps switching big guys onto Steve Nash, and that will not get it done. Careless turnover again. They had 23 in their last game at Golden State. The steal by Marion. He's sixth in the league in that column. Stoudemire and one. Amari Stoudemire, who is one of the great stories in the NBA this season. He really didn't know if he was going to play training camp early in the season. He's been a difference maker in the last month. Well, we had him in op on opening night against the L.A. Clippers, and we sat here and said, this is not the Amari Stoudemire that we've come to know. He did not look ready. His knee was certainly hurting him. And he has raised his level back to even beyond what he used to play two years ago. John Amari Stoudemire is the key to the Suns championship success. You can talk about Steve Nash all you want, but the separation that Stoudemire can create between the other big men in the league is just insurmountable for their rivals. And you saw that stack go by. Who would have thought that at this point in the season, Stoudemire would be the one playing in all of the Suns' games. This is number 64 tonight. Off the Nowitzki miss. Here are the Suns, who have now scored on all five trips. Nope, it's going to go the other way. Oh, they're going to go the other way. Offensive foul. But Jason Terry was in there under Stoudemire, and that's two on Amari. Mike D'Antoni cannot believe it. you got a big man gracefully running the floor, clearly outside the lane. Never been a big fan of jumping in front of big guys who were running up and down the court. <laughs> Sit by a and, former and, big man. And then falling, <laughs> down, then falling down looking for the ref to bail you out. Nine or other little guys. <laughs> Dirk can't get going. Dampier inside. Gets the rebound. Stoudemire has two, remember. Still battling for that rebound. Has to be very careful. Nash goes into the many photographers sitting baseline. What a play to keep it alive. And Bell cannot convert. Phoenix looks terrific. Dallas tentative. Surprisingly so. Dallas did a great job on the offensive boards. Talked to Alvin Gentry, assistant coach of the Suns, and that was their number one concern. Don't let Dan Peer hurt you. Jason Terry knocks down the J. Don't let these guys get second chance opportunities. Interesting defensive matchup for Mike D'Antoni. He's got Sean Marion, got Roger Bell, and Boris Diaz. Careless turnover, Steve Nash. And what a behind the back dribble by Harris, but it comes over and back as Steve Jabby makes the good call. It was booted off the foot of Terry and back across the midcourt line. So now with a break and Stoudemire's two fouls, he'll go to the bench 